What's up guys, Tactical Fire Medic here. Just wanted to share with you real quick, um, I got that Smith & Wesson Governor and uh, I've been looking all around for holsters for it and I've uh, been pretty unsuccessful in finding one um, until actually a couple weeks ago. Uh, about two days after I got it, I looked on eBay and there's a guy named, um, his seller name is C-O-Y-E-57, C-O-Y-E-57. Um, he sells these holsters, you can do them in black, brown, pretty much any leather color that you'd like. Um, and they're kind of, they're not inside the waistband, but uh, they're outside the waistband. I've been wearing wearing the Governor every day now since I got the holster um, for everyday carry. But uh, he's, they're about $39.95, or $33 do them in any color you'd like. I'll quit talking and bring it into frame here. And that's it. Let me uh, pick up the camera so you can see it. I do my recording now with the Casio Tricks. I just got that the other day, and it's uh, it's pretty awesome, 1080p. But uh, there's the leather holster, and uh, this is how I would wear it. Just the belt goes through here, around the back, and then through here. You can do it so it's through, comes up and over, and then back through. But this how I, that's how I carry it. Sorry about that little burp there. Then lift up so you can see all the sides. And it's upside down, but sorry if the lighting's bad, but this is brown leather, and uh, you can see here it says uh, SWGV Smith and Wesson Governor, and now uh, I'll go ahead and pull it out of the uh, the holster. You can see it does have very very good retention. I don't know how the lighting's going to be for the inside of this holster, but we'll try anyways. It smells great, I like leather. I'm a real big fan of leather holsters, as you can see in my other video with the Ragsdale Custom Holster. And um, the only thing about this one is that the uh, the trigger is exposed right here. But as with the revolver, safety is the trigger. So you just gotta you know be mindful of that. I'm go ahead and slide the gun back in here, back into frame. slide it into the holster. As you can see the trigger is exposed but I mean if you need to if you get like if you get knocked down in a situation or whatnot you can just reach back put your finger through and pull the trigger. Uh, just make sure you don't shoot your ass off I guess but uh, anyways Koi 57 highly recommended this it's very comfortable um, and I uh, appreciate you guys watching thanks for uh, subscribing if you have and if you haven't please do that. Um, give me any comments that you like and if you want to see some more of this gun I'm going to be doing some more shooting um, range videos I did a couple the other weekend but they didn't come out the way I wanted them to so I'll be doing some more here pretty soon thanks it's Tactical Fire Medic see ya